Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Strangers by Sigrid. So here we go, to be teaching you how to play the very awesome chorus section. Okay, check it out, give you a preview, it goes like this. Repeats. Yeah, very awesome chorus. Let's learn it right now. So here we go. Break it up into how many parts? Let me think. I will break it up to two main parts, okay? So let's do it slowly. So first part goes like this. B on up here. Middle C is here for reference. I go up an octave C. We start on the B up here. This goes B, A, F sharp, E, F sharp, A, F sharp. And then three Ds. Up to B, A, F sharp. E, F sharp, A, F sharp, and that's it for the right hand for the first part, okay? So let's do it again, so it goes like this. B, A, F sharp, E, F sharp, A, F sharp, and then three Ds. Up to B, A, F sharp, E, F sharp, A, F sharp, and that's it for the right hand. Once you get the right hand there, left hand we have four chords here. The four chords are E minor, which is E, G, B, fully white note chord. Second chord is also fully white note chord is G major, which is G, B, D. Third chord is B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. And fourth chord is D major, which is D, F sharp, A. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, so E minor, G major, B minor, and D major. Two hands together goes like this, B and E minor together. After F sharp, G major by itself. Ryan continues. B and B minor together. After F sharp, D major by itself. And that's it for the first part, okay? Let's do it again, so it goes like this. So together. Here. Together. Here. All right, so that's it for the first part. Moving on to the second part. Okay, second part, Ryan continues, goes five E's. One, two, three, four, five, F sharp, down to B. And then back up to E for four times. One, two, three, four, F sharp, down to B. And then back up to E, but this time it has six fast E's. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six. And another E, and another E, E, D, D. So a lot of E's for this part for the right hand. Okay, so yeah, uh, one more time for the right hand. So it goes like this so five E's, one, two, three, four, five, F sharp down to B, four E's, one, two, three, four, F sharp, B, and then six fast E's, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then another E, 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 D, D. That's it for the right hand. Okay, left hand we have four chords here. The four chords are E, may, e minor, which is E, G, B. Oh, it's actually the same four chords as the first part, so you just know it. G major, and then B minor, and D major. So yeah, it's the same four chords as the first part, so remember that. It will save you some time, okay? Two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the first three E's. Uh, one, two, three, uh, fourth E, E with E minor together. And then third E this time with the G major, so together. And then B minor by itself, and then right hand by itself. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then after that, D major by itself, Ryan continues, just like that, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this, so it goes, um, let me see, yep, right hand starts, one, two, three, together, together, here, here. And there you have it, that's it for the second part, so back to back, the two parts we've learned in this lesson will be played like this, check it out, so it goes... Repeat it. Yeah, 
So once you get the melody and chords of this all good, you can start adding other improvisation and decoration patterns into it to make it more awesome. Okay, so for example, left hand chords, you can do like octave and arpeggio patterns, rhythmic patterns, and uh, right hand, you can like harmonize the bass on those respective chords too. So you can do something like this, like. play around with it, it's a pretty awesome song. Okay, but anyway, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. So make sure to check that out as well. As for now, enjoy the time around my channel and see you next time. Tell me in the comments what you want me to cover or teach next, or use my services to guarantee a priority custom song request. For more information on all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music and books, check out the links in the description or visit my website bestpianomethod.com.